Hi, Bonnie. Hey, Jillian. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Oh, good. We miss you here in Canada. Thank you. <laughs> You're always an Canada honorary too. member of our, <laughs> our nation here. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Uh, first of all, very, very funny. And I, I have to say, I mean, I, I love Rowan Atkinson films, no matter what. I mean, the guy could read the phone book or, or act it out, as far as I'm concerned. But it's fun yeah. to see you in a role like this. Was that uh, kind of the draw for you, to be in something kind of goofy and silly for a change? Uh, yes, that was definitely a draw. Um, the, the idea of, of playing uh, the head of MI7 was also a draw and, and, and uh, just what that would entail. Um, um, but certainly to do comedy and to have the chance to work with Rowan and to, to watch him work. Uh, and, you, and you get to play his boss. Like, that's pretty prestigious there, Jillian. Everybody's boss. I know. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? It's very cool. Do you find yourself yeah. the bossy type? Um, I'm sure some people might say that I'm a bit bossy, but, um... <laughs> like your kids, baby. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I like to be in control. Well, but, why not? um, being the head of, a, um, of a, um, a secret service agency is definitely not within my, uh, within my talents. Um, and could never be, and so that in and of itself is, is quite funny. Um, do you recall your first meeting with Rowan and, and what it was like when you first got to, you know, either work with him or meet, meet with him? I do recall that. Um, I uh, went in to meet with Rowan and the director for the first time, and it was in a meeting room in a big building, and I walked into the room, and the director wasn't there yet, but Rowan was there on the other side of the room trying to open up a uh, screen glass door, like a, and um, he, it was hysterical. It, yeah, there I, was something about it, but he wasn't performing because there was nobody in the room. He wasn't doing it for anybody. Right. But it was just watching him try and negotiate this glass door was so funny that I actually had to leave the room and re-enter later so that he didn't know that I was there. Oh, that's <laughs> so funny. I, yeah. I'm wondering, you know, when you are working opposite someone like Rowan and Atkinson, like, seriously, how on earth do you keep a straight face? Well, he's quite serious about it. You know, and, and very often in my short uh, experience, but from what I understand, comedy is quite a serious business and it's very, very technical to, to get it right. And, um, and, and Rowan takes it very seriously, and he takes the, the calibration of the whole um, is, for, is important to him, I think. And so when we're actually in the midst of doing it, it's, um, it's not that funny. It's only when we see, when we watch playback and watch what we've just done, that we go, oh, that's what, that's what this is about. That's yeah. the funny bit. Yeah, yeah I, can, I can imagine. Now, obviously, it's very easy for you to slip in and out of the British accent because, you know, I mean, you live in London, so, but when I hear sometimes you do interviews with your British accent, when do you decide when you're going to use your American or British accent? <laughs> well, it's not really a decision. Um, I, I grew up in London and uh, until I was 11, and so that was really my, uh, that was my first language, so to speak. My And so it's, it feels more natural to me to speak with that accent than with an American accent. Mm -hmm. um, and it's usually like for today, because I'm in London right now, um, I have to listen to an American speaking for a little bit first and then it's and then I can step into it. But as soon as any of the Brits walk in the room to adjust the cameras or anything, I have to close my ears <laughs> off from there. It's just silly. No, it's good. It's great that you could do it. With such ease. You're great at both of them. Uh, quickly, I want to ask you, I spoke to Clive Owen. He was just in Toronto for the film festival, and you have a film coming out with him called mm -hmm. Shadow Dancer. Can you just tell me a little bit about that and working with him? Um, well, Shadow Dancer I, I, is a beautiful script, and with James Marsh, uh, who directed a documentary called um, A Man on Wire, which was an excellent documentary. Um, and this film is about um, a relationship between an MI5 officer played by Clive and um, Andrea Reisenberg's character, who's a, she's an, uh, in an IRA family, and he uh, turns her into an informant, and um, and I play uh, Clive Owen's boss. <laughs> I know. Don't ask. But it's very, it's a, it's a very, very different film, and um, and I, 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 it's a beautiful project. It was, yeah, I was very pleased to be involved in it. Well, we look forward to that, and uh, we again, I hope we see you back here, and maybe one day we'll have an X Files reunion, and we'll have you come back and and shoot in Canada again. How's that? 
Thank you. Sounds good to me. Okay. Good luck with this. This is really, really funny stuff. And do some more oh, kooky good. stuff, okay? Okay. All right. I will. Take care, Jillian. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.